welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be discussing braces um, basically I'm just going to do a Q&A about braces you know as far as my experiences so far and everything like that I do get a lot of frequent questions even from just random people basically just asking me um, you know how are braces do they hurt you know simple questions like that so I just decided that I'll do a video about that basically answer all those questions and even take you guys along with me when I do go to the orthodontist sometimes so let's go ahead and get right into it so you're going to see me looking down because I do have a tablet um, basically with the questions that I'm going to be asking and then answering so yeah um, my first question is why did you get braces I got braces because I had been teased about my teeth a lot since I was like smaller. I mean, they weren't just terrible, but I did have like a noticeable gap. Um, even I saw, you know, so I wanted braces about probably like sixth grade or so because that's when it got serious. That's when, you know, kids are mean in school, okay? So um, I really just decided like, you know, it's time for me to get these teeth fixed like a cane and then everybody else was around around me were getting braces so it was kind of just a thing um however I wasn't able to get them until I actually was able to pay for them myself because they were so expensive um next question what kind of foods did you eat when you first got your braces so when I first got my braces um I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't eat <laughs> for like two days um I'm pretty sure I lost weight within the time because it, it's like it it hurt but it was more so pressure of the wires bringing your teeth in and it was just like something that I wasn't used to so I was just like I can't but the next day I did kind of just I didn't even chew them I really just swallowed some noodles but that was it really just noodles jello ice cream you know things like that things that are soft that you really don't have to chew um, next question how often do you brush your teeth with braces so a lot of people say brush your teeth twice a day, you know, like morning and at night, but with braces, it's completely different. Like I brush my teeth in the morning and then I'll eat breakfast and then I'll brush my teeth again because I have food stuck in my teeth. And then throughout the day, I don't have a toothbrush with me. So I just use like those little, um, what are they called? They look like little Christmas trees that you kind of like stick throughout your teeth. Well, yeah, I use those and then I carry around floss and stuff like that to keep the food out of my teeth. But if I'm home and I'm just like eating, you know, not doing anything, then I'm definitely going to go and brush my teeth. So I would probably say all together around four times a day or whenever I can. Um, Next question. What did your teeth look like before braces? I will insert a picture here. As you guys can see, I did have like a few spaces. Um, it's not like my teeth were super bad. It was just a small gap in the front then I had like spacing at the top of my bottom row was okay. But that's pretty much it. Just a lot of space at the top, um, which I wanted to close. And then a few of them were slightly crooked. Um, next question, how long have you had your braces? I got my braces my second semester of, of college. So, I want to say February 20, yeah, February 2016, I remember. Yeah, February 2016. Um, and basically, I was going to school in Beaumont at the time, and I just scheduled my residence appointment, and I went home, got them on, and then went back to school the next weekend like nothing happened. Um, next question, how much longer do you have to have your braces? So, altogether, they told me I had to have my braces for two years. But, you know, things happen, you know, you don't always make it to your appointments and sometimes you have to reschedule appointments and all kind of stuff like that. So it was to the point where I was going to school and it was hard for me to drive down when I had orthodontist appointments sometimes because I was working a full time job, basically, like I was working like 40 hours a week and going to school at the same time. So it was just a lot for me to drive back and forth. So um, sometimes I would miss my appointments or I would reschedule and then forget about the appointment and not go. Honestly, it, yeah. So you doing that honestly prolongs your treatment because they tell you two years, obviously, if you're not going and getting your tightenings or doing your adjustments, you know, things that they need you to do, then you're not going to get out of there on time. So originally it was two years. Um, now it's like two years and six months. So they're saying that I should get them off in April. So let's hope and pray that that happens. Okay. <laughs> uh, next question. Do braces hurt? So... I get this question a lot. I'm not going to say that they hurt, but of course, when you get the, when you first get them on, yes, they hurt because your teeth aren't used to them. But it's not like they hurt the whole entire time you have them on. Like when I got when I first got my braces, um, 
I know for sure I was in pain for at least three days, but it's not like an unbearable pain. It's just like the pressure from the wires moving your teeth. So it's kind of just like, like, oh man, it's like you get them on and then you wake up the next morning and your whole mouth is just like, it's a mess. It's like, oh my God, like, why did I do this to myself? Like, that's how I felt. But um, it surpasses around probably like four days after. But usually with tightenings, you know, you get your tightening every month. So if I get my tightening um, one day, the next day I'll be in pain, then I'll probably be in pain the next day after that. Honestly, probably for like a week, but it won't be it won't be as bad as the pain was the first day, if that makes sense. It's kind of just like the pain gets better as you go on. Plus, before you get your tightenings, it's always good to take like ibuprofen, Advil, or something like that to basically kind of give your body that little cushion before you get to the pain. So usually I don't really hurt until like the nighttime. So I'm able to eat after I get my braces done and everything like that, but I'm not in pain until the medicine wears off. Okay, so the next question is, where are you in your treatment? So I really don't understand what they're doing at this point. Because he's just like, okay, well, yeah, you can get them off in April, but we still have a lot of things to do. So it's like now I have power chains on both rows. Power chains is like the chain that goes all the way across. And then I also have like springs. So I have a spring going from my back tooth all the way right here. And basically what that is doing is closing like a space that they opened on the side. So yeah, your orthodontist will open spaces and they'll also close spaces. Honestly, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to understand until they actually start explaining to you. So like right here, they were saying like I didn't have enough space for my teeth to move or something like that. So they, they made this huge space. I mean, it was gigantic. I can also insert a picture of that here. So yeah, the space was big. It was right here um, near like this, you know, your little vampire tooth and the other tooth, like right there. And you could see it every time I smiled. So I, I hated it. I couldn't. And it was like a whole two or three months. And then that's when they put the spring on and started getting it closed and stuff like that. So right now, they're really just working on, you know, closing my teeth and working on my bite and really it's not really just moving my teeth anymore i guess because you know i'm so close to the end how do you keep your teeth clean with braces so you do have to brush your teeth a lot to actually you know keep your teeth clean prevent cavities and all that kind of stuff because with braces you know your food gets stuck in your teeth a lot and you know you leaving all that candy um chicken you know all that kind of stuff just sitting in your teeth you know it messes with your teeth so i usually brush my teeth you know however many times i can a day i floss at least two or three times a day just to get that food that you can't get out with the tooth with the toothbrush because like the springs up here i can't really just brush them like they get i can brush them but all the food doesn't come out when i brush them which is why i like to use the floss to get everything out so that's really my whole thing. Just, um, you know, make sure you brush your teeth good and use a toothpaste with a lot of fluoride in it to prevent cavities. And so that's what my dentist told me, you know, so that's what I've been using. Uh, a lot of toothpaste, I'm sorry, a toothpaste that has a lot of fluoride in it to prevent cavities. And basically just taking care of your teeth like you would if you didn't even have braces, you know. But of course you have to brush your teeth like in a different way. So you wouldn't brush your teeth like in circles or up and down, however you do with, you know, your teeth. With braces, you have to get like... And the cracks and the crevices, I mean, like, get in there. <laughs> like, you have to brush, like, on top of the brackets, underneath the brackets, underneath, and then on top. And then make sure you get, like, behind and make sure you get behind your teeth. Like, actually brush behind your teeth. Like, behind here and then behind, like, your, you know, your molars and everything like that. And that really just prevents, you know, you getting any kind of diseases in your mouth, you know, halitosis, all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, when you get... When you have build up food and plaque and all that kind of stuff, it makes your breath sting and it's just it's just not good. Um, but yeah, so that's really all the questions that I have for today. Um, you know, I really just made the questions up based off of what people have actually asked me, you know, in person and text, you know, even like random people while I'm at work, you know, stuff like that. Like, oh, how long have you had your braces? You know, like questions like that. So I just thought that I would just bring you guys a video to um, help you guys further understand, you know, what braces are, what they're for, and, you know, um, how to keep them clean. You know, I know it's a lot of people that really get braces like every single day. So, you know, I feel like this video will help a lot of you guys. But um, 
I'm actually planning on vlogging every single time I go to the orthodontist now so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So I actually have a appointment on Friday, so I'll be vlogging when I go and basically just showing you guys what happens at the orthodontist. Um, and then I'll also let my orthodontist explain like what they're going to be doing to me that day as far as, you know, uh, are they changing my wires? Am I getting more power chains? Are they taking my, my springs off? You know, stuff like that. So I just want to bring you guys along with me to help you guys further understand, you know. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.